Delving into the ethical ramifications of Roseanne Barr's video deserves our attention. What happened, Mom? We're Bergdorf. Are you okay? You look very sad. No, I'm not okay because I just had a horrible flashback, a horrible memory. Right now, I realize that 26 years ago, Joe Biden raped me right here in that dressing room in the shoe department where I went in and changed my shoes. Oh, my God. He raped me in here. Joe Biden, he raped me right here. It's in the shoe department at Bergdorf Goodman. Are you okay? No, I'm not. I need to sell. I need to sell. Roseanne Barr's actions are perceived as a critique of the media's inconsistent handling of allegations of sexual assault. The concept of personal autonomy and the obligation to construct significance in one's existence intertwine. Analyzing Roseanne Barr's conduct unveils layers of unease and genuineness, stressing the significance of individual responsibility and substantiated allegations adds depth. Some may interpret Roseanne Barr's mockery as a reflection on the politicization surrounding accusations of sexual misconduct. Her video could be viewed as a form of rebellion against societal norms and anticipations. Despite societal critique, it can serve as an assertion of personal agency by expressing a narrative unique to oneself. Moreover, delving into the impact of social media outrage on public dialogue can illuminate how individual responses mirror largely societal divides and ideological clashes.